quite a spectacular entry, if I could say so. Well, in Perth today, enormous interest, of course, in this match. One city, a million people, all supporting one team, West Coast. And as you can imagine, it's deserted there at the moment. They're all watching the game through Seven Sport. Many thousands have flown to Melbourne today. There was a jumbo jet, in fact, that came over today. More than 10 extra flights from Perth. But the streets are completely deserted. One place that's not deserted is Steve's Hotel. We showed you this shot earlier from the Deadlands. It's a real favourite of the Eagle supporters. And Keith Geary's there at halftime. Yes, Bruce, they're up. they've livened up here a little bit. We're in the Eagles Club Bar. Now, prior to the game, I did a bit of a survey. The average result was a win to the Eagles by 12 points. So this crowd are hoping for a 24-point turnaround in the last quarter of the game. Now, I've got to say that the 120 umpires in this room are not happy with their two colleagues on the ground, particularly after the Pike incident. And the other couple of little things, one bloke thought it would be the final kick of the game, the last minute, Carl Langdon a goal. Somebody else had a dream this week and thought that uh, the game would end in a tie. But this lot think the Eagles are going to get home. Keith Geary at the Nedlands Hotel, uh, Steve's Hotel at the Nedlands, and they're all barricaded for West Coast at this stage. Full